Trini. Hello. Oh, look. look. <laughs> oh, this is new. New rails, can I just say. This is like the holding bay. So Closet Confessions this week is stuff that's come in from my storage unit into the garage. And is it going to make its way to the wardrobe? Ooh, it's on probation. Yes. <laughs> um, and also there's stuff here that maybe we brought in another thing. Actually, no, I'm not going to wear it again. So it's like that's now sale donate or a giveaway great what are we starting with we're going to start with a few things this was coming back into the house do you mm, remember yeah. so maybe we need to think how do we wear this because i only ever wore it before with the trousers that it matched so if i can't find a way to wear it upstairs we're going to sell it so that's on the cards right this has a pair of trousers that are way too big for me and it doesn't work i love the jacket so that's why i'm keeping it that's all right there's a navy blazer i don't need to think of ways to wear that i, I wear it with a t-shirt it's fine it's more things that are challenging to wear and i'm thinking how am i going to wear it so this which you know molly loves the shape everything about it, but I still feel challenged by it. We always have this challenge. So is there finally a definitive way that I wear this where I think, yes, I'm gonna wear it. So that is gonna go up to be one of the things we style today. This is something I never have worn yet. And oh, yeah. Molly and I, by the way, are looking at uh, spring summer trends. And one of them is see-through skirts. Yes. So I could just cut out the lining, actually mm -hmm. make, make it more interesting and look at how do I do a see-through skirt as a woman of 60. Could you put it on with this outfit? I feel like that's a good I try. could put it on totally with this outfit and take out that middle yeah. bit and just have that coming through. So this is a very good idea. So should we style this today? Yeah. Whoa. What oh, a I challenge. love the bow as well. That's I know. So yeah. cute. It's so cute. I got it in um, Madrid in a market for 35 euros. The neon dress, did we bring that with us? No, that's mm. always been here. Has it? I yeah. I think we brought it back from storage, Molly. And you know what? <gasps> I think it's time for the choppity chop. It's going to be going from a dress to a top. But I would love that as a skirt with an orange jumper, you know? It, that's where dresses to co That is a whole closet confessions in itself. Question, why couldn't you just put the orange jumper on top? Because it's about showing the hemline of the skirt. It's about showing, like, it might be I want to do a crop top with the skirt. It gives me so many more options when it actually lives okay. and breathes as a skirt. Mm -hmm. And I'll wear the top more if it's a top. Yeah, and then you yeah. think about them as a top and a skirt, don't yeah. you? And then they get more wear. That I'm not wearing because I put the buttons on it. So I need to take the buttons off. Okay. So that's an S. Susanna moment. Yeah. These trousers need to be made smaller. It's an S. Susanna moment. S. Susanna is a lovely lady who I work with who's a dressmaker. And so I've got to build up my S. Susanna pile yeah. first. And then we might do a whole closet questions around some things we're changing, why we're changing it. Can I tell you? Yeah, can you please tell us? I don't know what to tell you about this. I bought this in New York and I loved it. I fell in love with it. It's original courage. So you shouldn't be toying or doing anything with original courage, but it's very 60s dated. I am thinking if I took the collar off, how much more flexible it would be. Can I see the collar? Because oh, I think yes. the collar dates it. Could you just tuck it in? I could try. I mean, even to bend my arms to do it is challenging. Oh, I see. Okay, what do we think? Without the collar or not? Love it without the collar. I liked the collar. Did you? But I couldn't really see the collar because like, the hair was over the collar. I should just wear it casually, shouldn't I? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I've been trying to dress it up or wear it with a skirt. No, it's it better definitely casually. Oh, really? mm. yeah. I like it with these jeans. Yeah, I do too. That's going to be an S. Susanna moment. Tell me, all of you, your thoughts. Should I keep it because it's a piece and it's courage, or should I take it off and wear it more? Did we start that up recently? Did, Did you, you try it for the dates? Yeah, maybe. I think S. Susanna needs to get her hands on it because I do feel the back of, I'm going to put it on now just to remind mm -hmm. ourselves. Was it a dress or has it always been a dress? It was a mini dress. Not that I ever wore it this short. It was pussy palmet, like pussy palmet, you know. It's this back of it, you see, it's sort of, that's weird. Yeah, mm. so but then was, how would it be a jacket? Well, if it was a short jacket, it's just such it's like a bomber. Fabric. That is cool as a jacket. I think it's got S. Susanna opportunity and I haven't worn it for 10 years. And I don't know if Lila's ever going to wear it as a dress. Where's it from? It's from Mark Jacobs. We have opportunity to do that with it mm -hmm. and make it a short, cool jacket in some way. It's great fabric. But I think I, I think I said I would style this up, didn't yeah. I? Yeah. Would it still work? And Lila was like, I'd never wear that. So this is mine. Can I wear it? That's what about the pink dress? This. This is taking colours really. Wow. How do we miss that one? <laughs> this is the dress that I thought Ooh. would I wear it again? And I do want to look at how I wear it because I've only worn it in the summer and I want to think, weirdly, if I layered it with black underneath, how would it look? 
with a chunky boot. Could like a really roll neck. Get... Could yeah, be fun. Mm. Exactly. I think that's something to start up now. Yes. Yeah. We're along this wall. This was something. Yes, I wanted to start this up because this is an old Alexander Queen jacket, so let's style it up. This is going to be start up or it's time to say goodbye. Yeah, I think this is it for this one. Fine, that's it. Yeah. And then this, I'm going to try, aren't I? Because I'm going to style up. And that's yeah. it. That's it. So we've got stuff to style up. I'm going to put this on the end for us. Susanna, go upstairs, get ready, and let's do it. All right, so just to say, first of all, because you always ask, this is Essentials Antwerp. I got it in October. This is Cos and the jeans, Zara and the shoes of Prada. Can I ask what the makeup is? I like my makeup today. I've hardly any base on, and then I've done Reem Flush Blush on my cheeks and my lips, and then Myco Sheer Shimmer on top. And on my eyes, I've done Line to Define in Sabrina, which is our rich brown. I remember what I always loved about this and what I didn't love about it. So mm -hmm. I loved the fact that it was shorter at the front and longer at the back. And I didn't like the fact that I felt the sleeves were a bit short. Mm. So this does feel a shortness. I like the length there. And this is when I first started to consider the half tuck, when the half tuck wasn't half in here and the other bit out. It was the back was out and the front was tucked in. And this is the shirt that did it for me all those years ago. And I loved it. The proportion here doesn't work so well. So would I kind of do this with the shirt, which I never do and just have it as a mm. clean utilitarian shirt. Or would I just say, what do we do when they're too short? We usually just put a little longer cuff on. Um, this is a weird little detail. When something goes fluted, does a longer cuff still work? I think it does mm. actually, I think it's good. Yeah. For me, when you have longer arms, that's why thick cuffs work really well because they just keep that noise going on your arm a little bit longer. Yeah. And it is a bit more of a noisy shirt than you normally wear. It's got patterns, so yeah. why are you drawn to that, Trini? I think patterns for me now need to be abstract. I think I need to get rid of every figurative pattern apart from leopard, which is to me an abstract pattern. And I don't think I have any patterns left apart from in one or two dresses. Yeah. So I think we need to do that one day, eradicate figurative patterns from my wardrobe. One thing I think is, would I take the collar off? I mean, it's awful, this, that I always take the collar off. I just, I find shirts fresh up. This is from Marnie, really, really old Marnie. So would I put the Essentials Antwerp over this? So I could do that. And then I would maybe also take that out to have yeah. that underneath. This is such a good piece, I have to tell you. I was in two minds to buy it. And I've loved it because although it's black, it's got a lot of texture at the front, which retracts light. And mm -hmm. so it reflects and gives you more than black. Would you bring the collar out so we can see it there? Oh, let's see. I think if you have something like that, this has to be so yeah. high. And that's okay, we could do that. But it has to really be sharp. I do like that. I, yeah, I like that too. too. We can always tuck the collar in. The shirt has come back. It means that I think I've got to give myself some rules now. I've seen that it's a way to wear it. If I don't wear it in the next two weeks, I have to sell it. Challenge yeah, so. accepted. Whilst I'm here very quickly, I like to take patterns together. So this is a round pattern with a sort of square pattern. But I like that and it works for me. And then I might even do a bit of a half tuck there. Yeah. And I think what you've always taught me, which is so clever, is that two patterns kind of cancel each other out. Yeah, and it doesn't look louder, it can look quieter. Yeah, it looks quieter. Yeah. This is one way of wearing it, keeping the lining, which is nice, but it's not, it's just sort of slightly dress up. And so I think that also the, what's beautiful about it is the transparency. Yes. It's not the lining. So we are going to get the scissors out, but I just kind of go relatively close to the edge and then I just start cutting. This may have been your most successful cut. Really? Oh, yes. I love this. This is sexy, but fun. Oh, I love it too. It's just taken on a whole new life. Yes. It's got a whole new lease of life and it's so simple. It's so plain. And I'm thinking, how else would I style it up? Because I wouldn't want to make it too busy. It's the cleanest. Yeah. But what I'd probably do is I might just put that there and mm -hmm. then put this on top again. Or I might do my one little necklace. Would you also Oh, I could that? try. Yes. Oh, she found something that I never wear that would be worth wearing. By the creative classicist who's so cool in things like this. I bought it. It's Christopher Kane. It had this kind of falling down arm, so it really... People kept saying to me, oh, <laughs> thing's broken. I was like, it's purposeful. And so I didn't wear it. This and this is too much. That would have to be gone. But what's quite nice is that it's, there's a sort of slit here. Mm -hmm. So we have to think what that looks like. What do we think? I'm just not used to seeing you in a cardigan. I know, in a clumpy cardigan. It's just interesting. And it needs a skirt to tell the story. You're right, it's so interesting. Mm. They're both such great pieces for movement. The well, necklace is tucked in, is that on purpose? Yes, yeah, I don't think it should be both. You see, it's too much. I think that the sequin like and the pearl, pearl is too much. So that's gonna hang and that's gonna be worn this week. 
You're going to see it. Let's now just look at the other options that you brought in, Molly. Let's try the coat that I love, that we never wear. There, so it's just a little bit of mm -hmm. a hound's tooth with that. It's not, it actually... Would you belt it? it? No, I wouldn't wear it. You know why? Because this is not quite white and I think this needs something lighter underneath it. I just, no, that's not working. Okay, Kinder Agachi and see what that does because that's two very different styles going together. This is a great look. Two things coming together that didn't even know they were going to have a friendship. And yeah. now I've introduced them and they're like, hi. <laughs> we're best friends. We're best friends. <laughs> I love it. Harboring on the rail. Just the most casual jacket. With that, if I wanted to sex it up, would I actually go naked? Oh, I'm just going to see how naked it is. It's very naked. I might do some shorts. Take down this cost thing. And this is a little trick. You get a safety pin Ooh. and you make it a body. What? That cannot be comfortable. Well, it depends how loose the thing is. I'm just sort of saying, would I do that if I had some little shorts under? Yeah. Could I yeah. get away with it? The young girls are worried for me. You're now seeing a cost top I'm trying to pull down. I would have to have shorts on for yes, myself. Yeah. I would too. I'm not saying oh, yeah. I would do this. I would have I to would. have shorts on. I'm saying imagine these are shorts. Okay, okay. Yeah, then I love okay. it. Because I'm actually covered, I think I can do this. Yeah. I would do this for a date. I would do this for dinner with girlfriends. With shorts. Yeah. yeah, with shorts, Molly, <laughs> not with a cost top that's going to pop up and show my bottom. You're so worried and concerned for my bottom's sake. <laughs> All this when Giorgio Armani gave a dinner for 80 people and he asked Beyonce to come and play. It was us, Giorgio Armani, 80 people, and Beyonce. <laughs> on oh a small God. stage in a small club. This was, if you look at when Madonna was doing her sort of cones and everything and, mm -hmm. and Prada were doing this, a lot of work with um, sort of crochet and, and their normal mm -hmm. nylon. It was that time. And did you buy this dress for the dinner? No, I bought it. Mm -hmm. I thought it was cool and deconstructed. Everything I had at the time was very structured and ladylike. And I yeah. thought, wow. And you imagine it and there was nothing underneath. Yeah. And it really, Doesn't I loved the shape. You know, there was this kind of... Yeah. At the... And then so when you got the invite, you were like, this is perfect. I just wore it and I, I felt so good because everyone else was in quite pretty pink dresses. Yeah. And I was doing a sort of grungy look. But I could wear this exactly as it is. But I could also put a waistcoat over it too. Because that, in a way, makes it more of a daytime layered piece. Is this the Marc Jacobs waistcoat? Yeah. I just like the way this kind of sticks out. I think nylon is an incredibly fantastic. One of the, the way that Michio Prada worked with nylon, nobody had done that. And she just put beautiful colours together, khaki and black. It's like Tibby did a black skirt in yeah. nylon. Mm -hmm. And that was definitely the inspiration of this. If you look, Tibby as a designer is much younger than Michio. She takes inspiration from lots of different things. But if we take out that black nylon, I would imagine she nearly even had this in her wardrobe and then thought, I love this. A skirt, take mm -hmm. away the slit. It's slightly asymmetrical. It's just sort of cool. That is a kind of bubble hem. Yes. Slightly cut on the line. This is sort of cut on the line. It's a slightly bubble hem. So similar. Yeah. I love Either that you've got both and you've... Yeah. <laughs> similar enough that if I sort of think I don't like the edge, I could put this under the dress. Just add another layer because we're talking about black nylon. It's black nylon, it's black nylon. Oh, God, yes. I feel like I'm a Belgian fashionista because mm -hmm. the Belgians, Andy Lumista, all these people, Dries in his own world, but there's so many designers who do this kind of slightly architectural clothing. Love it, want to wear it. The only thing I'd say is that I'm very black up here. Yeah. So I might introduce a red or orange lip. So look at my face now. This is Shasha with Maiko on the top again. But I think it allows me to wear the black better. You see the green of the dress a little bit more because, because it's like the, an the, opposite, the, the contrast. Out, yeah. yeah. Molly's bringing out another bag. No, I'm not. You are, yeah, you are. Because it's, <laughs> She's it's got a bag in her hand. She wants to add a bit of silver to the outfit, which Ooh. I think is a good idea. And this is chunky. Yeah. And then I've got a bit of silver near my neck. Yes. Yeah. Love it. Sorry, Lila. <laughs> We've got lots to choose from, darling. So, I'm sorry, this is coming back into Mama's wardrobe. <laughs> so, um, I'm just going to say, I'm going to show you how I used to wear it. My boobs were pre-menopausal boobs and post-Lila birth boobs. So they were shriveled raisins, all right? And so therefore, this was like flat. 
So that's how I wore it. And this didn't even come out. This stayed together. It's also quite a little bit small because it used to hang a bit further down. Okay, where is it from, Trini? Prada. Getting out the old Prada wardrobe. What can I do? Tip tape and you're good to go. Do you really think so? Yeah. Tip tape and I'm good to go. Yeah, <laughs> Molly made a nice comment. Yeah. Tip tape is right there, so what we can do. Just need tip tape to bring them higher. I mean, to, yeah. to not let them sag. Yeah. No, just to stick to the dress more so. Because the back Just because when you bend down. And the back is pretty. But yes. I love how that hangs. It's got a place. You'll see it all styled up at another time. And I'm going to do a last thing now. That I used to wear with a grey jean. The sleeve, that's the thing as well with this. The sleeve was quite short. But I like these being wide because if it was really tight, mm -hmm. the trouser, you'd feel where the bum ends. Yes. And you'd feel how high the waist is. So where are the trousers from? The Zara one. Because this almost feels like it could be a I know a it does, piece. and I've never had a jacket. Do you remember? Because I have... Yeah. I'll show you actually what might be nice. Is I've never had a jacket for the Zara cord. And I might have just found one. So I do like a little moment when you've mm -hmm. got an extra bit inside a jacket, whether it goes with this jacket. Because it's shorter at the back mm. and it's longer at the front. So that does work like that. This is not bad, this proportion. No. But I don't know if I need this. Because that has a really long sleeve. Mm. So, sometimes the journey means that it's not always about the thing you started with. But what I realise is I do love this cohort, but I always like to think of different ways I can wear it. And I wore it very closed up with a silver thing the other day. So I quite like switching it out and having that jumper with that really long, do you see? Yes. There's a reason I bought this. It doesn't look good near my skin, but my God, is it a magnificent piece of detail for a sleeveless item. Is it snake skin? It's sort of snake skin sequin mm. from 16 Arlington. So now we're going to go back in with the too short a coat, which I never wore. So we've got that double detail up front. You've got that lovely sleeve detail there. Yeah. Just adding something. So it just breaks it up. It's really nice now that the jacket is long enough here. It covers the back. It's got the sort of high waist, but you don't notice it mm -hmm. so much because you, you don't see the end of the bottom of the bottom. Yes. And I'm really happy in it and I'll wear it. So the only place we can see the sequin is just at the cuff. Would you add like a bag or something to bring in? Something else. Just, yeah, I feel like I want yeah, to see a little bit, bit me, more sparkle. For me, is it a bit dull? Yeah, and I feel like I expect to see it at your collar or something. Well then, I mean, we go back to our old friend, don't we? I think it's a bit much that, because the pearl's a bit much. What's this? Suddenly it's now let's go for a, a grand tiara, but <laughs> so I'll tuck in the rest. And do you remember when we talked another? It's just there's a sneak of something there. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's what I expect it's to see. It's that little sort of slither. It's about using tiny bits of a necklace or just having one of the strands out. Is that Zara necklace? Yeah. And I do love Diamante with grey. I just think that works. Brought so much life to the top of the outfit. Mm. Just that little slither. Yeah. Are we doing one more? Have we got time? Let's do one more. Last one. This is the oldest thing that I have that I bought in my wardrobe. I had stuff I inherited from my mum. So it must be 30 years old. I've worn it once and yet it has avoided the 25, 30 curls I've done over the years. Is it time to say goodbye or does it have a last chance Sunday? So Molly and I are challenging each other to try and make a look from it. Let's see. <laughs> You're trying on as you go. This is my outfit. This is what I'm doing, and then you're going to do one. What is your crazy skinny jean? I don't know. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I seriously don't know, though. I don't, didn't mean. Did we buy a skinny jean recently? Yeah, you have a skinny jean. Thanks, Woody. I know you're cheering me on secretly. <laughs> Idea number one is I'm changing, getting some silver. It's trying to find those colours that go well together. So it's about having the polar neck, it's about having the skirt thing coming out. The shoe is wrong. Mm -hmm. She was really wrong. And also, it's, is this bit wrong? Is this bit at some stage need to come off and then just become something that's nothing hugely different? That's something that I want to think about. But I like this yeah, yeah, yeah. to do that because yeah. it makes me think it's something different. And it brings more texture through the outfit because the outfit before, it was very old lady, this fabric on its own. It needs a metallic mm -hmm. under it to bring it something. But yes. that works to me. But the, oh, I know. Where are these boots from, Trini? These are Zara. 
That's my little money. Okay. We need to vote in the comments. No, it's not a voting thing. It's two <laughs> different ways. It's two different okay. ways. Okay. Okay, it's two different ways. They can vote either way. <laughs> <laughs> The reason I did this is I love the fact it's very beautiful, but it needs to be lifted up out of dressing up cupboard into something modern. And there's a lot of beautiful companies like Dries van Noten that use inspiration fabrics like this, but there'll be an edge to them. So how do you bring an edge into that fabric, which is classic? And so it's about metallic. A metallic to me brings the edge. So that is look number one. I'm going to take that off now. and We're going to try the Molly root. So Molly, tell us what you've done and why. Added a pop of neon yeah. and introduced metallics. Neon is genius because any fabric that looks old fashioned, neon will rush in and go, let me bring you into the 22nd century, which it's done beautifully. These are really nice because the trouser with the high boot gives it a more edgy look from my look, which is a little bit classic. And I think that the belt I quite like, we could do the belt, which is a bit of the neon. I mean, a bit of the silver with that, which works. Or we could take it off and do the bag. And you tell me what you think is better. Mm -hmm. So look at that with the belt. I do that though. Yeah, I mean, I think we couldn't do both together. I do think this brings mo more modernness at the top and cross-bodying the bag and having the relationship with the metallic and the, and mm. the fabric. Great. I mean, I think I prefer Molly's. So I don't know what you all think, but that's two really different ways to style something that I thought was time to say goodbye. And it's not. Yeah. So think of what you've got in your wardrobe that maybe is the thing that's been there the longest you wear the least, but there's something about it which doesn't allow you to let it go and really challenge yourself to do two entirely different looks and then see if it has a place to stay. So Molly, I've got to say, I think I love this look um, nearly more than I love my look, but it's not a competition. It's two totally different minds thinking about it. And that's something that you could think about when you're getting together stuff. And I hope this will give you inspiration to put on a rail stuff that's the oldest things in your wardrobe and challenge yourself for how you can wear them. And maybe get a friend in to give you a new perspective, you know, ask her to bring five things around. Um, or you do the same with her one evening and go to her wardrobe because it's another perspective that makes us look differently at our clothes. So true. I've mm. always said I need Molly to come and do that to me. Mm. We all need Molly in our life. And Jemima, thank you for filming so gorgeously. And thank you, Molly. Bye, Trini. See you next Bye. week. See you next week.